from Chief Meteorologist Doppler Dave Spielman. Doppler, a very active Doppler radar tonight. Uh, yeah, you know, it was a, certainly a busy night, especially in the Las Cruces area. This is what we're tracking right now. Uh, still some rain going on in Doniana County. Look farther down towards the south. A cluster of storms down here in Chihuahua, but an outflow boundary. Gust of wind coming out of these storms and heading to the north and the northeast. That's what happened across the area this evening. These gusts of wind started generating some of these thunderstorms, and boy, I'll tell you what, it really rained hard in Las Cruces. Again, here's a closer look from Las Cruces off towards the west. You can see some of the scattered showers farther up towards the northwest. Uh, there's Hatch. Most of the storms now are just off towards the west of you guys, but this was the storm. I captured this at 7 o'clock this evening. Look at this. Interstate 25. I mean, this is some heavy rain all the way through Fair Acres. Even got some of the reds, a lot of reds. That's heavy rain. And then some purples where we could have seen maybe some small hail. Maybe some of you picked it up. I throw on the lightning and look at this again at 7 o'clock. Lots of lightning canceled the game at Field of Dreams between Santa Teresa and Mayfield. I mean, just too much rain and uh, lightning. Uh, you just can't play in those conditions. But in the meantime, again, I showed you this earlier. Look at some of the rainfall estimates. Doppler rainfall estimates. Look around town. Maybe an inch and a quarter, getting close to an inch and a half across parts of town. You can kind of pick out the neighborhood where you folks live in the Las Cruces area. So this was the, the region that really got hammered. There's the Field of Dreams right here. Mayfield and uh, Santa Teresa were supposed to play here. But again, all the rain, uh, more than an inch of rainfall, again, with the estimates all across town, just couldn't do it. Now, the rain continues to lighten up out there, but certainly the biggest storm of the year so far. Look at the rain cool there. 68 in Las Cruces, 70 in Deming, 77 in Alamogordo. I mean, we're still warm at 86. Didn't pick up a whole lot of rain here in the El Paso area. Now, what we are looking at on our latest future track computer model, the rain's gradually going to start to dissipate. Clouds will hang around. And I think for the weekend, we're just going to be talking about a 10% chance of rain in the forecast. All right, here's your forecast over the next several days, sponsored by Matchesford. 97 tomorrow. 98 Sunday, 10% chance of rain over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, but all in all, it's going to be a hotter day. We should stay away from any triple digit temperatures. 95 on Monday, cold front, a weak one going to come through here late Monday, kick up the winds on the west side of town, maybe wind gusts at 35, a little cooler, 95 to 90 Tuesday, chance of rain Wednesday and Thursday, about 10% step. Okay, Doppler, thank you.